The Australian Celtic Festival is held in May in Glen Innes in Ngurrubu country, which is part of the region of New England in the high country of New South Wales. In this episode, we will present to you the street parade with the many pipe bands and clan groups, followed by a mass pipe band bonanza in the town square and then a tour of the festival site at the Australian Standing Stones. The parade this year had a lot of pipe bands and clan groups from all over Australia. There were even groups from New Zealand. The Warwick Pipe Band came down from Queensland while some of the clan groups came from as far away as South Australia.
After the parade, we gathered around the Town Hall Square for the Mass Pipe Bands. It was great to see and hear all these bands playing together. There were shuttle buses taking visitors between the town centre and the festival site all day. We even had bagpipes on board the bus. When we arrived at the festival site, we were initially overwhelmed. There was so much to see and do that we weren't sure where to start. But we were hungry, so we went and grabbed some lunch to start off. There are a lot of clan groups connecting descendants to their clans. We found our Gartshaw coat of arms at the clan Stuart tent. Go and give us your dad's best accent. <laughs> I found my wee clan. 
<laughs> Take your sunnies off. <laughs> yeah. I can't see who I'm talking to. <laughs> I sat <it> myself. <laughs> There were bagpipes playing all day long and sometimes the competing sounds were perhaps a delightful cacophony. That's the word that kept coming into my mind, but it was so nice to just walk around and see all the Celtic groups, uh, Scottish groups, and knowing that this is our people. My radio, where the grub is good and the bunks are clean. begin with the call of hold they have the gun so as you can see gotta hold that oh right and so what's the call there Charlie hold. oh 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 holy moly <laughs> Serious, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, you can see those judo skills coming out. Final round, this one. That's the fun. Here we go. Well matched competitors here, folks. Tomorrow's having to get out of the way. Wow. Ah, well done to the boat. And I think Charlie. Sorry, Charlie. Obi. Obi. Let's give them both a huge round of applause. Congratulations, Obi, and very well done, Jake. Once again, Jack. Whoa! I tell you what, that was a bit of fun, wasn't it? Oh! All right, back at it. So Obi in the red kill. Ball in the green and blue. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> well, he's got it. It's gonna get you. Watch it. Look up, mate. There's Rob there. That's Rob. Graham's got it in the air right now. Highland Games covered Scottish back wrestling and a number of other sports that were pretty cool to watch.
the battle displays were very entertaining and they also explained how the armour and weapons worked. Except maybe she would have had some blows, oh. there'd just be a lot of pushing. Right. And, and... Well, that's going to be you in the shade. Very right? important. It's like <laughs> told you know, clearing the way over the country, but that's good. Cricketers. We're going to have a couple of weeks break and we'll see you towards the end of May. We don't know where we're going next, but we know we want to spend those minutes with mates.